gonna take some pre-workout real quick. Some Alani New, um, what is this, Breezeberry. This is like every flavor of protein, or pre-workout, I feel. So today I think I'm just gonna do some 12 day 30 just work on the um, treadmill because I feel like that's the only thing I have time for before my son wakes up so I'm just gonna get in a quick sweat and I would like taking pre-workout I don't think I really need it for the treadmill but I like it because it helps me get in a really good sweat um, I forgot what the what the ingredient is in it but it helps um it helps get you pump basically obviously because that's what pre-workout is but um i'm just gonna sip on this just a little bit probably i'm not gonna finish it it's like a half full cup and i'm gonna go ahead and get on the treadmill probably watch some youtube um and yeah so I am currently in our home gym right now. This is the current setup. It's kind of a mess right now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, um, but this is our current setup. It does the job. I love our home gym. I love the setup. I'm watching YouTube right now. Um, I'm about to hop on the treadmill. There's my, um, my water bottle, but here is my weird fit, but I am wearing a like sweatband under here. Um, it's like an off brand of the sweet sweat. I think that's what it is. Um, but that's what I'm wearing. So I just finished my workout and I feel like my son is about to wake up. So I just wanted to really quick record before he does. Um, I got in about like 28 minutes of the 12 to 30. Um, but I feel like he's about to wake up. So I hopped off. I wanted to go ahead and document this. I guess a weight loss um, postpartum journey. I mean, I'm nine and a half months postpartum, so I don't really know if that is considered to be still postpartum. But um, I just feel really frustrated because I did gain 40 pounds during pregnancy, which isn't a lot. It's, it's not so much. I don't think it's that much. But I did gain 40 pounds, and now I'm at the 15-pound uh, mark before I hit my pre-pregnancy weight and I'm frustrated because I have been plateaued for like it seems like four maybe five months um, I'm not really losing weight anymore and I don't know what the reason why I I eat good um, I'm active I'm drinking my water um, I'm focusing a lot more on protein now and um, still plateaued I was about like 140 to 145 pounds um, whenever I got pregnant and now I'm at 157-ish, maybe 156. So even if I lose 10 pounds, I'll be, I'll be happy. But relatively speaking, I do want to lose the 15 pounds um, to get back to that pre-pregnancy weight. But I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I, I feel really frustrated. Again, plateaued for such a long time and I'm trying to give myself grace i know that you know each woman's journey is very different and um you know uh, trying to give myself grace you know I, I my body did a big thing and it takes a long time for your body to to go back to normal but again i'm nine and a half i mean at this point i forgot what day it is um probably almost 10 months postpartum and i am so frustrated I'm really frustrated and um, I'm just hoping that I could lose the weight, the last of it, which, you know, I, I'm, I am thankful that I lost 25 pounds already, um, but still plateaued for a long time. Um, I've been seeing on TikTok 
a lot of women have had help with like um, magnesium. I believe it's magnesium. The specific magnesium is glyphosate. I forgot how you pronounce it, but it's a form of magnesium and it does help with like sleep and um, it helps with constipation and um, it just your digestive system works a little better. I have been getting really bad sleep, so I don't know if I have like a really bad, my hair is crazy, a really bad uh, mineral deficiency or vitamin deficiency um, and I need to work on that in order to get my body back to where it was um, to stop maybe insulin resistance, but we'll see. I'm going to figure it out, um, but I'm just wanting to document this um, journey this weight loss journey, hopefully it becomes a weight loss journey because <laughs> it's been plateaued for such a long time, but I feel like my son is about to wake up, so I am going to um, hop off. So I have no idea what to eat and I'm starving. Um, I'm just going to pop this in the oven. It's the tempura cauliflower um, from Trader Joe's, the Kung Pao, Kung Pao um, sauce on it. I'm so hungry. Um, I'm just, I think I'm going to eat maybe half of this, um, I guess for a carb source. Um, and then I'm going to chug a protein shake. Um, I, I'll show you which one that I use. This stuff right here, blessed. This is the chocolate milk one. I love this brand. This brand is so good. They're vegan. Um, they are made with pea protein and they're gluten-free, um, non-GMO, dairy-free, obviously, because it's vegan. And I think they are soy-free, I believe. They just use um, pea as their protein, which I love. Um, I'm going to make a protein shake with this and just, I guess, eat half of that. I'll see. I don't know if this is going to fill me up, but I um, need to get in some protein. And I'll use this as the carbs, but I'm starving, so I'm just going to chug this real quick. So, yeah. And so this is how it looks uh just it's just battered cauliflower pretty much here is the sauce packet i need to unfreeze this i'm just going to put it in some warm water while it is in the oven oh i didn't even turn on the oven i think it's like 400 let me double check um it is 450 actually 450 So I'm going to wait till that heats up and then I'll just put all of these in the oven. I made myself some tea, but I just want to do like a little Sephora haul and the new things that I got, even though they're not new products. Um, I wanted, I got like, I don't know, let's see. So two, three, I guess that's four, five. Um, I think that is all. I think so. I think so. Oh, I forgot something. I'll get it in a second. Okay, so first off, I got the um, NARS. I forgot which one this is. Um, it's the NARS like long wear. I think they're all long wear, but it's the longer bottle. There's a short, shorter bottle. And I got this one. This is so good. Um, I was debating whether to get this one or um, Rare Beauty. And I just went with NARS because NARS is notoriously known for how good their products are. This is in the shade Duville. It is my exact color match. I love it so much. Lasts so long all day. This stuff is great. And the next product that I have been sleeping on and I barely got is a Rare Beauty Blush. Um, that's why I wanted to get the foundation because i've heard so much good stuff about this um blush this is the matte one i don't know if there's different ones but i got the shade bliss oh my gosh so good why have i been sleeping on this why did i barely get a rare beauty blush like miss selena did so good with all of this the packaging the product so good um my exact color match i love it so much well i mean blush doesn't really have so much of a color match but I love that one on my skin tone. The next one I am trying and I really like um, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. And I got the matching um, 
um, I guess, uh, brush. And I don't know what this part is, but I use it for my winged eyeliner. Don't know why it's shaped like that. If you could see, it's like flat and long. Don't know why. I guess to, I guess, rub down the hairs, um, put them down. But I have been loving brushed out brows. This stuff is great. Again, lasts all day, like, you know, NARS and Rare Beauty. Um, this has a lot of product in it. And I mean, I don't wear makeup that, that much. And I feel like it's going to last me so long. It's going to last a long while. And I didn't really need this brush, but I, I could have bought another one. But I just went ahead and got it. Love it. Um, still favorite is Rare Beauty. Then I got Miss Fenty Beauty um, Contour Stick in Amber Suede or Match Stick, excuse me, that's what it's called. Um, this is okay. I wanted the um, Mario Badescu, I believe is how you pronounce his name. I wanted that contour stick, but it's sold out. I didn't even see any of Mario's stuff at all at Sephora when I went. A lot of things were um, sold out. And that's the next product I'll get into, but it's really good. Um, I have no complaints, but I did want the Mario one. Um, but I mean, Fenty's good and it, it's a good match with me. The next product that I did want to get and I didn't because it was sold out is the Huda Beauty setting powder. That stuff was sold out like uh, there was nothing there. Um, but I did have some points and I got the NARS, so little, the NARS setting powder. It's the translucent translucent crystal it's supposed to be light reflecting as well and this thing is so tiny but it's it's not really that good um i try to put it on this little powder puff thing and it barely gets on there like you could just see my makeup i feel like if you kind of can tell that's just my makeup i tried so hard to get the product actually on this on this um uh, powder puff and it just didn't really get on that well um i as well i'm gonna go ahead and get it um i got a moisturizer let me go get it real quick so this is the last product that i did get it is the glow recipe hyaluronic um plum plump this stuff is so good. I got I, I wanted to get the full size bottle because I got a um a little sample and something that I bought online from Sephora and I got a sample from um Glow Recipe or Sephora and the stuff is so good. I had to get a full size bottle. This stuff smells like bubble gum. It's so good and it really does plump, you know, for the most part, plump up the skin. And I have broken out a lot less using this product um this is the only thing that i have really changed in my skincare routine and i'm gonna get more products from glow recipe i love this brand they're like korean um skincare and you know like everyone in korea has that glass skin this stuff is so good i love it um and it lasts a long time it's like 40 bucks but it lasts a long time so that is my little um sephora haul but i want to talk about this other product so there um is this lip liner that i got from the flip app um it's like an app where you could it's basically for beauty influ influencers and you could just talk about makeup skincare um somewhat home um decor stuff they have a little bit of that and what else like health stuff help health supplements but i did get this about face lip liner and it is so good. Um, it is in the color Clockwork. This is like the best lip liner that I've tried in a, such a long time. I know this isn't related to Sephora, but I love this lip liner. It is my go-to and um, it lasts all day. Literally, it lasts all day. I don't have to reapply it. It's a really good like beige nude color. Um, and I feel like I've already used like a decent amount so far. It was a lot longer than this um that um this product is so good about face um just wanted to talk about that but um that is my little sephora haul uh, i'm going to just relax now i made some tea and i think it cooled down a little bit so while uh, my son is off to sleep i'm gonna go ahead and relax probably edit this video um thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what you want to see thank you so much see you in my next video